Hi everyone, Pastor Mark with you this week for this week's communique. Uh, first announcement, I wanna let you know that as we mentioned last week, we've been serving school lunches going back to last spring and throughout the summer. And uh, North Olmsted City Schools have resumed serving those to the kids. Uh, but these past six months or so, some of us on staff and a number of volunteers have helped out. And the grand total of school lunches that were served by CTK was 9,712 lunches. So thanks for all of those who helped and for your support. Also wanna let you know, we're planning to uh, move our worship service that's been meeting outdoors to the indoors and meeting again in our sanctuary. That would be starting in October. So the first Sunday would be October 4th. Now we're gonna monitor what's happening in our county and we'll adjust if necessary. And we're gonna take precautions with wearing masks and social distancing, including spreading out the chairs. So we're gonna to try to make it as safe as possible. And if uh, for you personally, for your health and your risks, uh, if you feel safer uh, to just watch at home, we're gonna still continue to offer our services online. That's not gonna change. In fact, we even installed new cameras with plans to start live streaming our services. Now we're in the process of getting people trained as there's a learning curve with this new equipment and technology, so stay tuned on that. You know, this morning on the news, I saw they did a little study and they said with this pandemic, 60% of people uh, mentioned or reported that they feel drained, that they just feel more drained. And I would say I'm in that 60%. I feel more drained than usual. And it remind me of a, a Bible passage found in the book of Isaiah in chapter 40. It says, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, and he will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. It says, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So that's uh, my prayer for us today, that God would be our strength. So Father, thank you that you do not get tired, you do not get weary, that you are the everlasting God. And I pray, Lord, that you would give us strength, give us grace. Lord, we are in a, in a marathon, and I pray that you would give us extra endurance and patience and perseverance. Lord, that you would encourage us. I know many feel discouraged, and Lord, I pray that you would uh, shine your light in our hearts. Fill us with your hope. And Lord, teach us the things you're wanting us to learn. Uh, I believe you're um, wanting us to grow through this, that we're not to be stagnant or plateau. So help us uh, the ways you're wanting to grow us, to, that we would deepen our relationship with you, that our roots would go down deeper into the well. We're, we're seeking uh, resources beyond our own, supernatural resources, that you would, would nourish us and strengthen us, not just physically, but spiritually, Lord. Renew us, renew our souls. Fill us with the hope and the peace that we have because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we give you thanks and praise in his name. Amen.